Okay, all right, well, so we're good. But for the unsaved, unfortunately, this would tell the Bible, say, there's a judgment for the unsaved, and this would take the place, uh, if you use the uh, premillennial scheme of things, this takes place a thousand seven years after the rapture, the great white throne judgment. And it says this, then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it, earth and sky fled from its, his presence, and there was no place for them, them meaning the unsaved, and I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, the great white throne. At this throne, at this judgment, all who uh, are at this judgment, they will have experienced the second death, and they will be cast into the lake of fire. Now that should con not concern us, but it should concern, not concern us in terms of our, where we're going, but it should concern us in terms of those who we love that are not saved and we need to witness to them because if, if we don't witness to them and bring them to the fold, they will experience this. Mm -hmm. so, it, so it should concern us, in fact, that we don't want our loved ones to experience the great white throne judgment. Now the second judgment uh, that's in the Bible that seems to indicate uh, that God will uh, uh, stand there and judge is what we call the judgment seat of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear, that means the ones who are saved, Paul talking to the Corinthians church, those who are saved, those who have accepted Christ, before the judgment seat of Christ. When we get to heaven uh, or in the midair, we'll, we, we will sit at the, at, at, we will be there and Christ will be on the throne. And that each one may receive what is due him for the things done while in the body. Each person will be given all, all of us, uh, uh, some of the awards or rewards that one will get, awards that we we'll get when we get to heaven. First, we will get the incorruptible crown. The incorruptible crown is for those soldiers, soldiers of Christ, who for their faithfulness and self-control, for your faithfulness and those who who in this Christian walk that we're in, you've hung in there. And things may have gotten a little dicey and a little tight, uh, but you've been faithful to God. Not only to God, you've been faithful to the task that God has called you to do. Amen. You were on the choir, you were faithful. You attended when others didn't. You were in the usher boy, you were faithful. You were on other parts of the ministry. When others didn't do, you were there. When others didn't show up, you were there. And God's going to award you for your faithfulness. And your giving. When things got tight, the economy went south. You kept doing it right. God's going to award you for that. And for your self-control. That is, those who are able to control the passions of your body. And your anger. And the temptations. And your lust. Those who are able to do that. And God's going to look at you and say, here, for, for your faithfulness and your self-control, here's your crown of incorruptible. Second uh, uh, award, reward, award rather, is that we call the crown of rejoicing. This is for those who who have been in the who have worked hard to evangelize and get people saved, and for those who have served others who are in the ministry. Those are two twofold: those who work to bring people in, and those who serve people while they are in. Now, everybody doesn't do that. There are a lot of people who are not concerned about those out there. You pass by some teenage kids this morning, some kids don't go to church this morning, and you just zoom around by them. And they were in your neighborhood, still in your, living in your apartment complex. And you could care less. But there are some people who are praying for them. Yeah, and yeah, even right. that, even, even if you don't do anything when time to pray, you could be thinking about somebody at, at your job or somebody... Uh, in your neighborhood, and you can say, I just want to intercede for that person. Yes, 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 yes. A lot of people don't even think about that. But this crown will be given for those who do. Those who really want to reach out. And then the ministry is serving others who are in church. Some people could care less about serving people in church. I come for me and my own, and that's it. But there are those who want to just help out, always help out. Always have it. Always working in children's church. Always volunteering for this and volunteering for that. God's going to give you reward for that. Then, third uh, uh, award that one would get. This 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 award is for um, those who have endured trials and temptations. Those who have been sort of going through a lot. Maybe maybe been physical or mental or emotional or 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 uh, financial, or sexual, or just 
mean spirit, employee employee relationship, and you have hung in there, and you've been tempted, and, and you've been sort of try to some people try to cause you to go astray, but you stayed in there, and this is what we call the crown of life. The crown of life. You know, they had me down, but they didn't have me out. The crown of life. The crown of life. Can you imagine? God says, for this one, the trials that you've got. How many of you gone through some trials? Yeah. Gone through some trials. Hasn't been always easy. Those of you who are older and, and who've gone through racism, sexism, and you didn't give up and you didn't hate. When Martin Luther King said when his house was bombed, his kids were threatened. He said, I chose love. I chose love. Sometimes when you try to do things, your spouse just doesn't cooperate. But you hang it anyway because you know it's the right thing to do. God says, for this, I'll give you a crown. A crown of life. This is what the Bible and then the fourth crown, the fourth reward that one gets is what we call, and for those who are anxiously awaiting Christ's return. Now, how many of you, right now, 2009, November the 8th, I don't know what, Eastern Standard, Daylight Savings Time, got me confused, but 10 o'clock almost. How many of you now would love to see Christ? Break the sky right now. Come down and take me out of this mess. Raise me. About half. Okay. <laughs> the other you. <laughs> Don't come now, Lord. <laughs> About half. I wonder how many in Atlanta would have raised hand. Probably everybody wouldn't have. <laughs> About half. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the crown of righteousness for those of us who, are, who would love to see Christ come. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Now, now the re you, will, you will want Christ to come for many reasons, but I think uh, one of the reasons is, is that, that, that uh, you feel like you have done your job. And you feel like you've done all you can do. If you don't feel like you've done all you can do, of course you don't want him to come. But if you've done all you, do, you can do, you are waiting for the man to come and pay you off. This is what the Bible says in terms of the crown of righteousness. It says, now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also all who are long for his appearing. I can't hardly wait for Jesus to come. Now, of course, we get hung up at this. So, the last one is the crown uh, for those who preach the word and those who support those who preach. Yeah. Now, Everybody won't get that reward either. Those who preach the word and those who support those who preach the word. Amen. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Y'all are killing me here. Killing me now. Give me a break. See, I'm quitting right now. This is called the crown of glory. Amen. The crown of glory. Amen, preacher. Those who preach the word for not ill-gotten gain, and those who support those who preach the word. Amen. The Bible says this in First uh, Peter chapter five, verse four, and Galatians six. And when the chief, chief shepherd appeared, that is Jesus Christ, you will receive a crown of glory that will never fade away. Mm -hmm. And then for those who support the ones who preach the word, and anyone who receives instruction in the word must share all good things with his instructor. Amen. You do that. You do that. You do that. You receive the crown of glory. So you got some awards here. You got the corruptible, incorruptible crown. You got the crown of rejoicing, the medal of life, the medal of righteousness, the medal of glory. You got those. And when we stand before God, we'll get them. Now, what's the reason? Now, if you're in heaven, what's the reason for getting these medals? All right. What's the reason for giving any medals out? Think about what God wants us to do. And I wrote this down. To inspire and to encourage us not to take a passive view of our walk with Christ. God wants us to be serious about this thing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, if we, if we just go to heaven and everybody sit down and nothing happens, that's okay. But he, if he's taking time to put some crowns on our head, he wants us to be serious about our walk. Yes, yes. 